with a yo-ho-ho, it's Tiddler Toaster. Welcome back to Let's Play Inazuma 11 Go Galaxy, and this is a big one. It's chapter five, and we're finally going to finish off the Football Frontier International Vision 2 qualifiers with our fifth match of the tournament against Uzbekistan's Storm Wolves. So let's go to the Saints Way Stadium. I genuinely could not believe that there were five separate rounds of the qualifiers. It's such a dramatic increase from the three uh, that you have to deal with in Season 3. But we'll do it. We sure will. Hey! Huh? Where's Big Bro? Vaka's already up and gone. Uh, what? They came here to support us. We'll definitely win this. Look at them here. What's wrong? Big Bro won't be able to win this. Huh? But even if you lose, count on us for support. We'll cheer you on lots. Oh. Kids, they should tell it how it is. <laughs> I'm sure they're wrong. Vaka's brothers are too young to understand. Maybe they're so young that they do understand. I mean, we did get destroyed by uh, Resistance National. Well, we'll see if we can prove them wrong, though. Uh, tutorial guys, what do you have to say about Storm Wolves? It's their defensive move, apparently, that he wants to point out. I am going to check the inner link, and then I, before we get on with the match, I need to quickly she uh, check the pal packs and stuff at the at the intro well the entrance the car park is what i'm trying to say <laughs> of saints way stadium now that we got some some new recruitment items uh just in case we can get any last new players for the all important match against storm wolves like <laughs> it would finally allow us to take some reserves in so i'll just do a check we can have a couple, actually. Um, there's a couple of goalkeepers that are available to us. Um, Shilo Placidus. <laughs> Am I saying that right? This is where the Palpac Society for uh, Prodigy Grammar was kept in Chrono Stones. Uh, and we do have their recruitment item now, if I'm not mistaken. Just they are being hidden elsewhere. Um, that's Aaron's classmate, Amy Sargent. But... This one in particular is pretty cool. We've got all three photos and Baby Command Battler as an achievement so that this uh, very quick looking defender can join us. I believe his model is actually used as a perfect Mixy Max for Nathan Swift in Chrono Stones. I will have to check that and see who it's with uh, in that case. Oh, we ran out of coins. I didn't realize they were purple. <laughs> oh, well. Theo Thur, we, we had everything we needed except for the money. But with those two new recruits, we finally have exactly 16 players. We have a full bench, finally. Let's see how little we need them in this match against Storm Wolves. The first Uzbekistan team in Inazuma 11 history. And I do say the first because they're also not the last. ついに、アジアの代表が決定します。兄ちゃん。頑張れ。いや、いいですね、このね、キー。サポーターの熱い思いが伝わってきます。え、稲妻ジャパン結成時はどうなることかと思われましたが、ついに決勝ですよ、松
Everything we worked hard for depends on today's match. Pull your weight, everyone. Will do. Everyone looks so different to when we were up against Resistance National. The training paid off. Hmm. Everyone, do your best. I know football is watching over you. When you seriously face it head on, it will respond to you and everything will all come together. Winning today will let us qualify for the main tournament and take on the whole world. We'll definitely win this. Yeah! They're doing well to skim over Arian's whole football is alive thing once again. It's funny, like, this is the team that cares the least about football, but they're also the team that have called Arian out the least on, on, football's going to cry, you're going to upset it. <laughs> but I guess he hasn't done quite as much of that in this game. Uh, we're getting some good luck uh, from, well, messages from the Stormwolves team dressed in pure white. I, I definitely like the Stormwolves uh, kit, and I think visually they have probably been, just from these four alone, probably one of the most distinct teams we've faced in the tournament so far. Um, yeah, the, the teams haven't been incredibly varied up to this point, but it's gradually getting better. You know, Moy Tigers had a good theme, now Stormwolves have got some good designs, uh, but let's see if they're any good at football, because that's the main thing. <laughs> They did make it. They did make it to the final, so they're at least second best out of 32. You need Ricardo, Terry, and Trina in the in the squad. If I was really going for a challenge mode, we've got some level ones uh, to make use of. But we all know what happened last time. Um, so that's who we can rely on. At least he's got menacing glare, and she's got sonic shot uh, as backup. But yes, for now. The same as ever, Charisse, we've got to try and make use of at some point because she's got a new shot as well, Mermaid's Tail. We've got lots of shot chains and the goalkeepers are good enough to the point where I actually need to start relying on those if I want to reliably get past uh, their blocks. Good job we've got four of them now. Today's the last day you'll ever stop me from blocking shots, Ricardo! Hmm. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we kick off today's final in Azuma National against Stormwolves. You notice how all of the uh, of uh, Inazuma National is here except for Zippy, just because they needed Ricardo to have that conversation from a defender's point of view. Zippy's just the one guy who's not here. I will win today and lead everyone to victory. And I'll make football smile. I'm just going to have to start self-inserting Arian's personality into these conversations <laughs> if he's not going to say it for himself. But that's a great logo. Stormwolves, uh, I mean, the coach is uh, <laughs> looking serious business. But yes, we've got Zippy back. He will be taking part. Um, this music's coming back from Inazuma 11.3 once again. Um, Minions team played to this, right? Uh, that is the main strike. Well, that's a striker, but uh, Dilshod Sokorov is the captain. He's a forward. Of course he is, but he's got a nice, uh, cool design. Very, very werewolfy, but not to the point of it being like uh, Dracul from Chrono Stones. He's, he's a guy, but he's, he's bringing style uh, to the Uzbekistan stage. Uh, Warsaw is the name of the defensive move that we were being told about before. So that's the only bit of Polish representation we're going to get in the Inazuma 11 series. Let's get on with the final and see if we can go to the world stage. That's so exciting. Do you hear the crowd? The tension is rising here at the Saintsway Stadium. Now that we've come this far, let's all hope that Inazuma National does their best today. Do your best, Arya. Will they be able to win today? This is their last trial. Hmm. I hope you quickly realize what it really means to be the goalkeeper, Terry. Football is a team sport, one where the keeper can't work alone. Everyone has to help in securing the goal. If you don't realize that, then you're not a true keeper, nor will this game be possible to win. 
All right, um, that's applied for all of the previous ones, but Ricardo's finally having some level of trust in Terry to get the job done. Surprisingly, we are in free play right from the get-go. Um, so don't pass this opportunity up. Arian is quite capable of dribbling past these other defenders. The goalkeeper is on full power, so ignore my advice entirely and don't go for a Zephyr shot or a Doom Dive drive. Just, just do nothing. So there's no advance gate. Oh, I actually... Huh. So if the goalkeeper's on full power, it actually wouldn't have cost me any TP to do the move there. That's interesting. Could I therefore go for a... Uh, a driving header and it would be completely free just to level it up a bit? Basically, all we need to do is run down the timer for those first 10 minutes. It's, you know, it's... They're trying to give us a break from losing the ball at the opening kickoff, but that's not to say we can do anything. We can't afford to lose. Let's go! Not on my watch. Oh no, the defence won't make it. Ch too late. I love that move. Silk Road, one of my favourite dribbling moves ever, it has to be said. But, I'll stop any shot they fire. Give me your worst. You sound very confident here. I know we'll win. Plums? No. <laughs> Gold Rush... I, I don't like quite as much as Silk Road. It's a nice theme, getting getting some uh, gold cash involved in there. It just doesn't look very powerful for the final team, in my opinion. But why couldn't I block the shot? The special training should have given me the boost I need. Ugh. Well, I ain't got a choice. I have to stop it next time. Terry, I'll always be here on defense. Shout for help when you need to. I'll come to support you. But please hurry up and realize I won't be able to score if we manage to stop him. Zippy, only our brains can get it out of this pinch. Yes, let's do this. We're going to have to work together to protect the goal, or else the match will be lost. It's just one point. I'll get it back. I can still turn the tables. Me too. I'll do my best. Everybody, why? Well, why not, Arian? We will be going to free time now at the goal deficit. Ah, no, we won't. Jokes. I'll take it. Inazuma National has lost possession of the ball! Yeah, they're really doubling up on us. They let us pretend that we could play at the start of the match so that they can now have the two instant wins. What in the world? Stormworms' onslaught is toying with us! I don't understand. Why is everyone moving so strangely? I'll oh, stop Stormwolves. I trained hard too, so I'll do that too. I... I will take it back. Everyone? Now they see. All the confidence they gained from the special training has backfired. This is a waste of time. We won't be able to retake the ball, let alone catch up. What do we do, Arian? It can't go on like this. We've got to do something about it quickly. So now it falls to the player to do so, actually giving us a little bit of suspense. Oh, Silk Road, we don't get to see it again. It's... <laughs> It's one of my favourite dribbling moves ever, but it's being stopped by one of my favourite blocking moves ever. Truly uh, a battle of elites. Um, Alright, so let's try the original strategy again to quickly get a goal. Um, you know, this is meant... Oh, it's impossible to take it back. And you know what? It is! But at least this time I get to demonstrate that Zephyr Shot is completely free, as will be the Doom Dive Drive. Let's see how much power we can gain for the next scenario. Um, so that eventually, at some point, hopefully, we'll be able to put it in the back of the net. So, a free Doom Dive Drive, bring it closer to level 3. But what I actually want to talk about is that dialogue from Ricardo. It's very, you know, um... You can always rely on me, Terry. Twisting clouds. <laughs> Twist reach. Got... Uh, 
a very funny dub name before Twitter clout became a known concept. Um, but yeah, as a translator, we weren't quite sure what to do with that dialogue because um, I don't think it's really surprising to know that there's a bit of a Ricardo and Terry shipping community <laughs> in the world of Inazuma Eleven, and um, that dialogue didn't do us any favors with how very dedicated it sounded. But uh, I checked the anime back and. It sounds even more intense there, like what Ricardo says, I will always be here for you to rely on me. It's like full on. <laughs> there was no way um, to put that across without completely rewriting the lines, so we just kind of went with it. But Victor, by the way, has a brand new special move that he got by level up. Uh, we wanted to be like level 19 for this match. I'm absolute, um, accidentally level 20. And at level 20, we got Supernatural Strike. So let's try and show that move off while it's incapable of scoring. And then uh, maybe we'll go back to his normal moveset after that. But it's so good that he's finally got Supernatural Strike back after it was impossible to obtain in Chrono Stones. It was just on two players and that was it. The first half was totally at their pace, huh? Hmm... Guys, it's all right. We can get back on track if we calm down and play it right. But we can't even get the ball. I can't stand this calculation, but our chances of winning are slim to none. There's nothing we can do. I hate to see us losing. We really worked hard to get here. I don't think anyone's going to complain after this. No! I am not giving up after all of this. I'm going to keep on fighting. I don't want this to be my last game. Huh? The last game? Right. If we lose this match, then Inazuma National will disband. We promised Coach Black that we'll win, and that we'll walk our own paths. What's wrong with losing? We're not doing this for a promise. It's only for our contract, which is done. I know that. Hmm? I know that, but I don't want it to be this way. When I joined the team, I was finally able to face myself and make new friends. I'm staying. And I think you guys feel that way too, yeah? Hasn't football changed one thing for you all? I... I owe it to football. I could be number one with everybody. I guess I just didn't notice that. There are some problems one person can't solve on their own. The two of us will solve them. Zeppi and I found the key to victory thanks to that. You too. I don't care if I make a lot of mistakes. I'm here for you all. And that's that. That's right. Try to remember everyone. Football is a game you can't play alone. You need your team to work with you. That's what makes it fun. Alright guys, let's give it our all in this half. We'll play to win. We were hurrying all this time. We were too fast, and we lost sight of what's important. Right. We gave up on this way too early. Even if no one complains, giving up here means that we'll run away all the time. I seem to have only been thinking about my own success all this time. Guys? Not a single player's game. Play together. It's the same as before. When I played basketball, it was always me scoring for the team, alone. This put the team on a winning streak. But things went crazy at a certain point. Pass the ball? Stop being so selfish. You want to play basketball alone? Go right ahead. Sorry, I play by my own rules here. It's up to you amateurs to keep up with my pace. You're gonna have to try your best. After that, the team stopped winning. I didn't get it at the time. I always thought that playing with these bad teammates buried my talents. Which is why I agreed to Coach Black's offer. To win and join a famous basketball team overseas. Then it hit me. I wasn't winning only on my own merits. I thought you guys could win simply because I'm here, but I was wrong. Shh, I've done something terrible again, huh? 
You came to that all on your own. Like, he didn't even have a conversation with Ricardo or even need to make any saves other than that one gold rush uh, that went in. But nonetheless, props to you for coming to that conclusion, Terry. And now we'll just hope that we never give you an opportunity to show your personal development because I don't really want to let these Storm Wolves guys anywhere near the goal. Except, um, we're kind of allowing it. Einsatz is hard carrying this team. Like, every single match we've had so far, the opponent just dribbles straight past until eventually they hit Ricardo and he is just the impassable wall. Can we at this point score? We can, apparently, but I don't have Arian to set up the shot this time. Go on, I want to see Supernatural Strike one more time. <laughs> Completely flying in the face of what I said earlier, but it's just so cool. Devil Burst, it's known as in Japanese, of course, and it's definitely a fan favourite move. So this is how we see Twist and Clout get ratioed, basically. <laughs> 1-1, one, one. we will take that, and is that going to fill up the advanced gauge, or is it not going to quite be there? No, we've still got work to do, but we're at least feeling it. No, it's filled it! Oh, there we go. It's time to decide this, Ava. They're coming. Guys, let's stop them. Ricardo. Terry, do you think a good play is getting the ball in your hands? Could it be what Ricardo wanted to say was... Terry, it's coming! Full power, of course. Uh, you know, we, we, we could throw out a Leaf Bowler just for it to lose. It's really no point. But look at these power levels. We're seeing powers, like, regularly in the 200s. It's kind of mad how high these power levels actually are. I think we got a crit on the Leaf Bowler, funnily enough. Time to score another point. I'm coming, Mr. Keeper. I ain't letting you. He makes a regular save. The ball is still in. One more time. Here we go. Gold rush. I can feel myself getting richer just watching it. Ah, no, he c he can't stop him from that position. Sindo, Sindo, Tanoe, Ibuki. Ah, Wakata. I can't believe I just heard Terry saying, depending on you. Come on, you guys! We've come this far! We ain't gonna lose! Come again? Yeah, you're right, Terry. I want to advance with everyone. Let's go! Advance further, huh? Count me in! We're gonna go full force and join forces with Terry! Yeah! So you're playing this just by trusting in others. You guys don't understand how easy it is to be betrayed. Don't let him go any further! Block his way! Now that's Inazuma National! You can do it! Okay guys, let's go! Pass the ball forward! Virtuoso Volcano! Hey, we get this again! 
Something that uh, Ricardo was always capable of doing, but not with this team. That will be added back to our special tactics now, though. Oh, yeah, I did it. I mean, everybody did. We also got Claw de Force on Terry, which we'll talk about in a moment. I'm counting on you, Captain. All right, your hard work at passing the ball will not be wasted. And are they actually... So we've got an advanced gauge to fill. Um, Arian, once again, is not really capable of scoring on his own. And Victor is all the way back there. Well, it's a good job I scored before, because Zephyr's shot is definitely not enough to score here, and I can't set up a shot chain. In fact, what I should have been looking for uh, was Cherise, because she's got one to help with this. But yeah, we got the goal earlier, so that's the important part. Uh, Twist and Cloud, this is the first time he's actually expending TP on it, I think. Oh, the Supernatural Strike did as well, but it's a, it's a fun one. One that uh, Nishikage Dusk Grayling would later have a bit of a copy moment on. Uh, let's not forget to actually fill the advanced gauge, though. Even if we don't score, uh, we still need to do that. Copy Cup, by the way, is only 11 TP, which is really, really inexpensive. It's not actually that cheap. It's just because um, Keenan has a skill which reduces... Uh, TP consumption in general. That's why Boomerang Bluff is also only 15 TP, uh, which is his only dribbling move for now, but trust me, we'll be giving one, him one. He will definitely have one uh, in the future. Uh, for now, this advance gauge is going really, really slowly. I feel like the quickest way to conclude it is actually just to go for another shot. So, fair enough. But Terry, so that moment of realisation with Ricardo, it's easily the highlight of the match. When he does screams at Ricardo to help him out. After five five matches, he finally realises he's the last one to clock on, except for maybe Falco off the back of that dialogue. Oh yeah, it's in! Virtuoso Volcano worked miracles. That definitely wasn't off the back of Virtuoso Volcano, but, uh, y you know, just pretend. Terry, with your new special move now, I really think all this training paid off after all. No. It's our training that did. Huh? Thanks to everyone's help in guarding the goal, I was able to focus on the ball. It's easy to stop a shot like that when you're focused. Are you being thankful? Or are you just bragging? It doesn't matter either way. Good job out there, guys. I'd never thought they had such a special move in their arsenal. That's how much they stake their lives on this game. If we don't give it our all after all this game, we're sure to lose it all. We haven't forgotten about that at all. If we lose, then we don't have a place to go. Let's keep up the momentum, guys. Let's win this and go to face the world. Yeah! They don't have a place to go. That's... That's pretty dark. Oh, dear. Uh, and that will also fill the advance gauge. We can't lose. We can't afford to lose. We're not giving up either. We're going to take on the world. Funny that he used Hyper Swiper there, because actually you could feasibly not have Hyper Swiper at this point in time. I wonder if the cutscene would still play out if you'd manually removed it. Uh, anyway, Zedzag didn't get him far enough. It's coming! Take cover, Ricardo! Yeah, got it. That small defender has limited defense range, which means that you can get through. Now go! Go, Zaffa! He's coming at me. Gotcha! I'm 
島の森村のプレーなんでしょうかあれは光った今光りましたよねねえ始まったようだな And so it begins, eh? What begins? We, we don't know, but a mysterious glow from Trina, unexpectedly. Double touch, however, is still not good enough to win any interactions, no matter how much light she emits from animated cutscenes, which is a bit sad, but we are at least winning. If they're going to go for a special tactic, then I'm, I'm not going to not go for a box lock. They've got track cycling, and it is good enough. Um... It's another, it's the special tactic from Terry's school and Dodge's school, right? Which is my segue to finally talk about Terry again. Because, yeah, he's got a new move. So, Blam Dunk was already leveling up quite a lot and seeing very frequent use. So, it was definitely time for him to get another. And the new move, known in Japanese as Rising Slash, is really, really good. Because Terry already has a skill which makes his punches go further. And Rising Slash counts as a punch. So when he uses that move, the ball absolutely flies up the pitch. Like he can clear it into the sec into the upper half of the pitch quite comfortably. As we go for Cherise's new move, the shot chain mermaid's tail. Um, but Rising Slash is yeah, it's especially good because of the distance it can cover, and it's relatively strong as well. Sadly, Mermaid's Tail isn't really, but it's a nice bonus to have. It's it's one of the more uh, stylish moves in the game, I'll give it that one. Um, but the only downside I can say about uh, Rising Slash is the name. Because I don't know what it was with the localization team and Terry's moves. I really do wonder how he would have spoken in an official localization of the game. Because we, we've seen that Inazuma localizations can come up with all kinds of random unexpected things. Like making JP French and making Kaiser German. I feel like Terry belongs as an American guy, right? Because he's a basketballer. That makes sense. But... His special move names are all over the place. Slam Dunk makes a British... Well, I'm calling it Slam Dunk, but it's actually Blam Dunk. That's a UK grime reference, if indeed it was a not like just a, a badly written S that looks more like a B. Blam Dunk was already weird, but then they called Rising Slash Claw de Force. Claw de Force? What on earth is that? I genuinely cannot work out the pun there. Like, when we first discovered that move localization, we genuinely thought it was an error. Like, because we got it from the Portuguese anime dub, so we know that it's real, but we thought, what, did they just accidentally uh, insert something from the French anime there without meaning to? Like, they can't have seriously called it Claw de Force on purpose. I sat there for minutes on end thinking, what could this possibly mean? And the best thing I can come up with is that it's a Tour de Force pun. But like, changing Tour to Claw, that's already a bit of a twist and clout, a bit of a twist reach if you get me. But then, what does he even have to do with the move? What, what about this? Screams... Tour de Force. Why is it called Claw de Force? I don't get it. It's even weirder than Blam Dunk. But, like, just just go for it, I guess. <laughs> Terry's got a move called Claw de Force, and that's just what we have to deal with. But it's, it's really good. Uh, let's see if we can make this 3-1 at the dying minutes. We have managed to defeat Uzbekistan, I think it's fair to say. But I am glad I got that supernatural strike when I did, because we wouldn't have won otherwise. This would have been a draw. And then uh, Resistance National would have been watching on, wishing they were the team. Sorry, Bailong. Looks like this team's going to be moving on after all. 3-1 at the end of time. I guess we did win after all. Yeah, I kind of ignored that part, but... Bye bye Uzbekistan, you can come back in Orion with a uh, slightly more forgettable team. Storm Wolves, it wasn't like the epic finale against Fire Dragon from Season 3, but it was a good match. 
just has this really weird moment in the anime that I completely forgot to talk about. Uh, the final score is genuinely 5-4 in Inazuma National's favour, like Uzbekistan pull way ahead. And then Inazuma National like, oh, to bring this back, we need to score two goals at once, which they do just by getting a normal goal with uh, Holy Roller and then just immediately in the second half, Victor scores with a bicycle blade. And it's not two goals at the same time at all. They're just quite close together. It's a really, really weird arc, but the Ricardo and Terry makes up for it entirely. That is so good.